Well, here we go. It's our second women's semi-final. It is Haniel Hamami, the number five seed, up against the number eight seed, Joel King. And of course, this match is a contest to see who will get through to play Norel Tayeb in tomorrow's CIB final. 2019-2020 World Tour Finals, women's semi-final between Joelle King of New Zealand to serve, Hania El Hamami of Egypt to receive. Best of three games. Play the ball. So our match referee, John Mazzarella, announcing the start of this match. And it's the Amazon, Joel King, who gets it underway. Both of these players, very rangy, good around the middle of the court, fantastic athletes. But also hit the ball really sweetly. You mentioned the the loss that uh, her mummy had uh, to Taya earlier, and I think I think she was it was very difficult after she'd won that first game. She was kind of uh, celebrating inside uh, to to sort of not switch off a little bit. And I mean, obviously, you don't know for sure, but I, I'm fairly love. convinced she would have won that match if it was uh, if it was if she needed those extra games and needed the actual win. Stroke to King. Oop. And out, one or one. almost taking King out there with a practice shot. She was completely oblivious, just in her own little world, re-practicing the shot she just missed. Out. It's the focus Two these one. players have, isn't it? When you see the top players in the world practicing, the intention to detail and the purpose that they put on everything, they really do get into the zone. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, often players might use targets and put headphones on and just really focus on what they're doing. Use floorboards. Has to be, I mean, especially in this kind of event where you're playing against the best of the world immediately and all the way through, should you be successful quick question for you parky what do you see these two having to do tactically like what can we expect in terms of how it's going to pan out i think um i think it's going to be feeling each other out a little bit to start with in terms of hitting the targets hitting the corners and i think a bit more towards towards the back as we're seeing at the moment but then as the match wears in and they get a little bit more confident it's about doing that. It's about being brave and putting the ball in short and out when they get the opportunities. Because there's not going to be many opportunities given. I mean, that ball was <laughs> fairly loose. and I mean, it wasn't that easy, was it? It was high up. And, and quite a long way back in the yeah. court. But it just shows the, um, the technique of her mummy. Still only 20 years old, but she's got very, very sound technique to be able to be confident to play that shot. To watch, she's made a lot of improvements technically because I remember in the junior game when she was at the top, you know, in, in world juniors, and she was slightly vulnerable yeah. in that back backhand. And her and her coach, um, Haitam Afat, have done an incredible and amount of work too. in that area, and it's a lot tidier, a lot stronger. And now everything flows, it all connects together, and she's so light on her feet when you see her moving around the court she does glide through and she is very springy and that, hence the nickname the gazelle Great pickup from King. Down. 
Yeah, it was a great pickup, but she couldn't quite and stop the lunge, could she? She ran through it, and when you run through a lunge, you just You're end up position. two footed and stranded. Completely. Yeah, and it was a full diagonal then, wasn't it? Yeah, King, as you alluded to, played tremendously well against Gohar and brought, really brought her A game. Surprised a few people. She's capable of it. And she can take the ball in short pretty well when she gets some opportunities. Maybe does it a little bit less than Hanami overall. Mami likes to strike the ball hard virtually every shot until she gets an opportunity. And even then she takes it in pretty Down. fast. What I'm waiting for or looking forward to seeing is psychologically how El Hamami deals with the extra pressure, the expectancy that comes because when she won black ball, you know, yes, she's been she'd been Handout causing a lot of problems three. and she's very much the hunter. But having won that and now being very much established near the top, of course, the chasing pack is going to start coming for her a bit more. And it does change the dynamic, doesn't it? Definitely. Um, but the signs that I see that I've seen so far is that she's the kind of person, the kind of sports person that uh, that thrives on that and relishes Go that. To her mommy. That's, um, that's got to hurt. It sounded. And out. Four. No, she's still studying as well, don't you? Really? Yes. Yeah. It's, it's impressive. <laughs> Although I guess um, in that respect, a lot of people have have had a bit more time during the uh, during the pandemic. That's good to see. Both players working incredibly hard to get round each other in those front corners. Yeah, it's good free-flowing stuff between these two. That's what we want to see. Five, four. Not too many stoppages. That's a brilliant and shot. Out. The serve, you have to say, was a bit lacking. It was straight onto the strings of the Kiwi, but she dealt with it appropriately. Down. Well, King is certainly taking it on. When the opportunity is there, and she's out, looking to take five. that ball in short, taking the attack to her Egyptian opponent. I think maybe King in those situations maybe needs to take it in a little bit faster. Just a bit more, um, a bit more zip through the ball. The problem is, Amami is so quick to the front. If you sort of fade it in too softly, then she's going to punish you. Out. 7-5. Important rally here for King. She's on the end Great of it. Up. She's being worked all around the court here. Yeah. She's having to use all, the, all her athleticism, isn't she, Eight King? Five. Fitness. Yeah, her mammy's got control of the middle area of the court, and then she's hitting really good targets from that space. You're going back to your earlier question, Drew Boy. Her mammy just doesn't seem and like the kind of person, eight. even at 20 years of age, that, that gets nervous, gets too overly nervous. I mean, it's good to have a little bit of nerves before you, before you play these tournaments, but just the right amount that gets you up for the match. And I, I think she's one of those players that's, I mean, she's got a really bright f future. Her and her coach, Heisen Mafat, uh, quite a funny dynamic because she she's very fiery and demanding and, and always wanting to, to push and go. And 
and he's the opposite and he's very relaxed and trying to calm her down and and keep her keep her sort of backing off a little bit so it's, it's quite a funny Works contrast well. to watch as well well you wouldn't want a coach who is maybe a similar personality to her would you because it'd just be fireworks no and, and also just thinking about that that makes me think of gawad who just wa watched and of course his coach is omar abdul aziz <laughs> and they're complete opposites yeah. as well but well. but the other way around yeah maybe we're onto something so anyone you coach just be complete opposite character <laughs> That's a nice finish again. The court being stretched out for King, and that wasn't happening against Goha. Against Goha, King spent most of her time About through the middle of the court. Seven. And even when she was in the corner, she was able to hit shots that allowed her to take control again. Whereas that's not quite happening this evening. This evening, she's being moved deep into corners, and then that is leaving a, a big area for El Hamami to hit into which is testament to the, the precision of Hamami. Good housework from King. Yeah, I mean, we've been quite lucky here last couple of nights because it's definitely cooled down. It was so humid earlier on, maybe three days ago. Yeah, we had some top temperatures of uh, nearly 40 degrees here in the last couple of days, but we're, we're it's freezing now. It's only around 30 degrees. Oh, her mammy, I think, felt a little bit guilty there, so she had to show <laughs> willing by getting the mop. Hand out 9-7. Two-point lead for her mammy in this first game. I think the difference so far, Drew Boy, is very, very small, obviously, but uh, just the no. attacking to the front of the court has been a bit more accurate from Hamami. Good lob from King. I think yeah. it's something that and she could use nine. a little bit more against Hamami because you mentioned it, Hamami likes to play at, at pace and, and she likes that rhythm. Like I said, she has flow and rhythm. And She's done it again there, break. King. You're absolutely right. It's, um, it, uh, yeah, it's definitely good to use variety. And there's some from a mummy herself. Variety against somebody that really likes to smack the ball at 100 miles an hour constantly. And then they have to create their own pace, which is quite a difficult thing to do. Down. See, again, King just tentatively playing that drop shot. I think it looked ever so slightly tight and tense eight. through yeah. the body Game then. Ball. It's just not, not following through, not, not a really confident stroke there. She's quite close to the ball as well, but two game balls for El Hamami. Down. Hand out, 9-10. Game ball. So the error from the gazelle means that King only has to survive one more game ball. King just taking a time there. That's another good lift from Hamami. Yes, lad. Ten all. Player Interesting, because I even heard the contact, so it would be, be good to see this. What are your initial thoughts there? Well, I don't think the angle that we saw it from, because it was switching just as we watched it, so it wasn't really great for us. But, but this you, was this you was gut close. feeling, though. You gut well, feeling. It, well uh, I just heard the noise, yeah. and it meant that King couldn't get a racket up, but she hit her, so... There, do you see? Is that yeah. that initial movement stopped her from actually getting the racket up, so then she can't hit the ball, Prevented so that makes shot. it interesting to me. There, it doesn't look like a stroke, but when you actually watch, when look, when the racket makes contact there, she can't get the racket up. Sure. So you think it's a stroke? Could easily be. And it is. Stroke to King. Decision overruled. King has one review remaining. Ten all. Well, actually, they've both got re reviews points. again now, haven't they? Each player has one yep. review. Into the tie-break. 
There you see Hamami just having a little chat with herself, geeing herself back up, trying to forget about the past. All square again now between these two. Down. It's good pressure from King, just getting the ball in behind Hamami, forcing her to Game flicker ball. the ball. Yep, Game ball for Joel King. She survived two against her. Yes, like. Yeah, it's a good decision. That is a let ball. Play with you, Hamami. I agree with you, Drew. Yes, but it right. came back pretty far, didn't it? It was, it was almost half court, and it wasn't a, it wasn't a nick by any means. This is going to stay as a let ball. There was just enough initial contact between the two for it to be a let ball. Quite a lot of contact initially there. Simple decision for the video referee. Yes, let decision upheld. Amami so still game ball training. for Joel King. 11-10, game ball. Left, right. Left. Left and right. Right hand side. So here we go, can King convert this opportunity? She looks very, very focused there. Bouncing the ball nice and slowly, taking the time. Joel King, so good at winning the big points. We've seen her do it so many times over the years. Well, both players sparring down this side wall. They're just waiting and searching for the length that's going to create the opening for them. Oh, wow. I mean, there was a chance for King there. Oh, there was a weak cross court from Amami, and King just knocked it back to the backhand. And and it, it, this is it here. That's the opening for Amami. She ran it in perfectly tight to get that, get that point. So back to parity now in the tie break. Fearlessness of youth, Parky. Yeah, took it on. We were there once, if you can remember. <laughs> no, I've put quite a bit of distance <laughs> between those times and now. Again, both these players are really using the height on the front wall well. They both like to put some pace on the ball, but varying it as well. Stroke to King. Yeah, it was a good, good drive in behind from Joel King. Out. Just been a few times where she's managed to just get the ball in behind the swing of El Hamami, and then now Hamami's having to, to sort of shovel it out, flick it out from behind her. So another game ball for the Kiwi. Yeah, I think you're right, and that's when sometimes she flicks at it and, and uh, hits the frame and it can be a, an error from Hamami. Or at least a loose shot that King can pounce on. Oh, <laughs> would you believe it? Well, that wasn't really went, went for, was it? I don't think it was slightly... It, it seemed too deep to well, she, there. Well, she hasn't apologised. Well, no, I don't expect one. <laughs> Not to you. You said she was feisty. Oh, I love the oh, fact she played that. I love the fact that she could have stopped there, but she's played it and got the rewards. It's a clever shot as well because 13, it made it awkward for Game King ball. having to go back on herself. She read it perfectly well, didn't she? That inside out forehand, that line was perfect. Third game ball for El Hamami here. Down. 
down. Oh, just missed it, and it was just a little bit slower again, these volley drop shots. Well, it's weird, though, because the swing looked rushed, but the ball was slow. Moved slowly, yep, yeah, just clipping the top of the tin. She can't believe it, her mummy. Well, the longer this game goes on and in out, this time break, all. the more crucial it becomes in, ter in terms of the context of the match. Well, absolutely, and best, these best of threes, it's crucial to get the first, but particularly if it's this kind of game that goes to the wire and some. Is very brave, it's a good shot. King's a tall player with a good reach and very 14, strong up on the volley. 13. Game ball. Yeah, she took it on. It was, as you say, very brave there, Drew Boy. And it's given her another game ball here, the Kiwi. Well, they're certainly trading blow for blow here, these two. If you watch there, when El Hamami, very clever shot, sprints onto him, triple and boast, but all. very wide stance from King there. You're not going to go anywhere from that stance. No, she was totally wrong footed, wasn't she? But it was a poor shot, initially too high, that gave Hamami the time. Nicely executed, though. Could be trouble. In it goes. <laughs> Who wants it? Who wants this first game? And out, 15. Well, she loaded 14. up and then... Game ball. Bang, in it goes. Pulled the trigger. So another game ball for Joel King. Just a bit of sweat on the ball, I think. Of course, you have to make sure you wipe it because when you get a little bit of sweat on there and it hits the sideboard, it will just skid through. Players don't like it when that happens. Yeah, I've played against a few players that haven't wiped the ball and then uh, it's been very difficult to, to time off the volley. Down. Who wants this first game, Drew Boy? And out. Wasn't... wasn't ever in position to all. take that shot on. It looked a little bit rushed. She's a bit upright. Oh, Out. my gosh. Just took it as it was on the side wall there, King. 16, Rush of blood 15, to the head, I think, the for the Kiwi. 16-15 in the first game. El Hamami, another game ball. Get it straight, King. Still in charge here, though. She is. Yeah, it's oh, nicely wow. done. <laughs> she missed a couple of times on the volley, but that was perfect, that backhand drive. She measured it to perfection. It was perfect weight here. Second bounce in the nick. And out 16 and That's all. quite a steep swing up above the ball and then really does get that angle. Well, it stopped the movement of her mummy, didn't it, as well? So old school, Drew Boy, when we used to play to 15 and then it would be tie break one or three. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not 
Obviously, this would be a three tie break, but it could could even go go further. It's going to be a stroke, isn't it? Stroke to her mummy. She caught you on the back swing. Too close. Too close. Huh? You were too close to her. Yeah, I've given the I've given the stroke. I think that was a pretty significant contact. Yeah. With the swing. Hand out 17. Yeah, she's too close to her, isn't she? That's that's why the rule's there. You can't crowd your opponent. I mean, it completely messed the shot up, although yeah. the shot went up. 17 16, game ball to El Hamami. Uh, not for long, though. <laughs> Told you it would go on further. Hand yeah. out 17 all. Will this go past 20, do you think? Maybe. Maybe not. It's just the willpower of both players here. It's so hard to break. But seemingly, when they get the game ball, they don't want it. Down. That ball has gone into the tin. The chance was there. King missed 18 the cross court. 17. El Hamami looked tense on that volley drop shot. See it there. Bit off balance going backwards. Yeah. Game ball for King. I think she let it drop a bit too much as well. Didn't get didn't get set. 18-70. Well this serve has to go right into the side wall, which it did. Not up. Oh wow. Every time, Drew Boy. I oh, know. I oh, know. And out, 18 all. Wow, 18 all. Basically played two games already. <laughs> it's just squeezed against the side wall. The roar from 18. King. Pretty Game much ball. guarantees that we're going to hit the 20 mark. 19-18, game ball to King. Well, whoever loses this game, how are they going to recover from this? That's my question. Well, it'll be a good test of their psychological strength. A bit overhit there from Hamami. Usually gets it below the service line with a hard hitting. Yes, Lett. I, I'm not sure. I, I think no let there. Yeah. Yeah. This is a good review. The ball was right. pretty right. tight, pretty close right. to the sidewall. Look at Joelle King. She goes straight into the back of her mammy. Oh, it's not actually a review, I don't think. Did you ask for a review? No? No. I've given the let 1918 game ball. Yeah, I'm reviewing. And I'm asking because there's a pause and then review. Are you allowed to look at people outside to tell you to review or not? Are you, are you going to I'm not that? actually sure what you're saying. Um, I've given a let. All that, that can just stand by that, and you could have re you could have reviewed it, and you haven't. And I'm she reviewed it ages ago. You, said you wanted a review. Yes. You haven't got one. How? No, you, you haven't. On. You have no review. How come I didn't review? No, you lost your review. I did before you turn on. 11 to 1918 game ball. You have no review. Yeah. Did she lose? Yeah. Did she lose it in the tiebreak, Drew? Boy? Sorry, I'm just listening to the interaction. Is it allowed for who to ask? 
bear in mind, I have no connection with the video referee here, so I'm not hearing anything in my ear either. Well, that is a significant break in play. 1918 game ball. What impact is it going to have? And it's a significant break in, in concentration for, I mean, for, both, for both players. So let's see who can deal with it best. Both players getting quite frustrated there. I'd much rather be in King's position, though, after a break like that with the game ball. Yeah. Well, here we go. That's oh, it. She's it. finished it. That is here. a huge, huge King. game. King leads one game to love. Not surprising that King has walked off absolutely roaring her head off. 30 minutes, 2018 to Joel King. She is leading in Hania El Hamami by one game to love. Well, as you alluded to there, Drew Boy, we're really going to have to see the character of Hania El Hamami after losing that 2018 in half an hour. These two players battling out some fantastic squash from both of them. Just didn't know who was who wanted the game. There's so many game balls and so many opportunities, and then lost game balls for for both of these players. But it was Joelle King who eventually got got it. She's one of it.